Hello everyone, my name is Adam or Eples Vox and welcome back to another Windows 10 Tips tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your login, start and sc startup screen, picture and information and things like that. So be sure to smash that subscribe button if you're excited for it and leave a like on the video below. So we're going to go over here to the start menu and we're going to go to settings. In this settings window, we're going to click personali personalization if I can say it correctly. We're going to go to lock screen. And this is what it was set up based on my Windows 8 setting. And here you can choose a background wallpaper. I have my I have my old YouTube banner and our current YouTube banner from our co-op gaming channel. You can choose an app that shows detailed status, your calendar, weather. I'm gonna choose weather. You can also choose calendar down here, store down here, Xbox. And that's all I really would use. You can select timeout settings for when to turn off the PC. Definitely, I'm going to set that to never. You can select your screensaver settings if you wish to have a screensaver, which will open up the old school personalization box. Nowadays, people don't really use screensavers. And here you can set up either your pin, your password, or a picture password where you choose a specific picture in this setting. You can also choose work access, other account options, your avatar, create a picture, add a Microsoft account, add a work or school account. You can change to a normal local account instead of a Microsoft account. And you can change what syncs between your Windows accounts. So just to recap, this settings menu is where you need to go. To access your sign in options, you go under accounts. To change your lock screen and background screen, your background image and things like that, you go to personalization. And in personalization, you can change whether or not your background is a picture or a solid color, choose your picture, choose how it fits via fit, stretch, style, etc. Choose your colors. I have it set to automatically pick a color based on my background, but you can turn that off and tell it to pick a color of its own, and it's going to automatically change that as you see here. Just keep changing, but I'm going to leave that on. You can change your image for your lock screen, your timeout settings. You can change the overall theme settings. If I click this right here, opened up this normal window from the older Windows style. You can change your desktop icons, which again opens up the older school. You can enable which one's shown on the desktop. So this is how you enable your My Computer shortcut or your user folder, your network, your control panel, etc. Click apply and OK. If you go to the desktop, I have a recycle bin icon. I have a this PC and control panel icon as well as a user folder icon. And then you can change the start button options to use a full screen start menu. So I'll turn that on. And now my start screen is a full screen one like with the tablets. I'm going to leave that off, but you can use it however you want. You can use jump lists, etc. So lots of options here. Make sure you learn these settings menu and you're good to go. So these are your personalization tips and tricks for Windows 10 that you have available by default here on Windows 10. I do hope you enjoyed the video, guys. As always, be sure to comment, like, and be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in a future video.